in this next riveting episode of Mike's Garage, Kim doesn't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Mike drops his lunch. Son of a bitch. And Mr. Piggy takes a nasty tumble. Welcome to Mike's Garage. How to paint your car at home. Man, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, and this is going to be part one in a series of videos. I don't know how many videos there's going to be, but there'll be as many as it takes to get the car done. So, in this video, this is going to be a disassembly video and sanding. Kimmy's going to come by later and help me do that. And we're going to show you how to take some pieces, parts off the car that may be a little intimidating to get off because you don't want to break them. And throughout the video, I'm going to be responding to some comments and answering some questions. So let's go. Okay, guys, here is the Chicago MR2. We are going to be prepping for paint. We're going to be prepping it first to get the polyester primer on. Um, this is going to be more of a disassembly video, and we'll show you how to get some pieces off. But if you remember down here, that spot that was all fucked up, uh, that's all repaired. I repaired the front bumper. It was all wavy due to the license plate bracket being on all those years. Uh, heated it up with a heat gun, put some flexible uh, filler on there, and it turned out pretty well. And you guys remember this side from the rust repair video. Remember we put some sheet metal down there on the rocker panel and up above the wheel arch so let's get started all right guys the first thing i wanted to show you how to take off were these corner lights for the blinkers um you can see it comes in two pieces right there and what you need to do get something uh probably a plastic piece like i have here pry that out and it should pop out and i think toyota's intention was for this ball to just pop out but what usually happens is the molly comes out with it so you might want to take this apart, unscrew it, put the molly back in, and then reassemble it that way. And of course, unplug the plug. And that's all there is to it. Okay guys, here are all the emblems I took off. Now, how I get these off is uh, I start by running some fishing line under, under the emblem itself to break the glue. And you can also use like a plastic razor blade or even a slightly dull razor blade if you don't mind scratching the paint if you're going to repaint your car but uh yeah then when i take these off i scrape all the emblem adhesive off the back and you guys are going to want to use emblem adhesive when you put them back on because you don't want to screw up your paint and this one the pegs had broken off these mounting pegs so i, I had to drill holes these are actually screws that i cut to length glued them in there then bonded the front, primed it, sanded it, bonded it again. I got about two hours into this little emblem. But oh well, I don't want to buy new ones. And then I'm going to black them all out because I hate the chrome. I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Okay guys, I have a comment here. This comment is from Subinut slash dash five. He says, Mike. My STI will waste your MR2 on the drag strip and on the track. Wow. I'm gonna let my friend Charlie handle this one. Congratulations! Go fuck yourself! Well guys, look who finally decided to show up. It's Kimmy the Princess. Fucking blow me. I'm not exactly sure that's what a princess would say, Kimmy. Then suck it. Oh, much better. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to get these window wiper uh, cleaner nozzles off. Um, hey Kimmy, do you think you can keep the camera straight for five fucking seconds? Do you think you can pull that off? Do you think you can keep your fucking mouth shut for five fucking seconds? Do you think you pull that off? Jesus Christ, like I didn't see that coming. 
Okay guys, how you get these out of here, you can see the design, the two clips on each end, once it's pushed in, um, I like to use a plastic razor blade, especially if you have nice paint, but a dull regular razor blade will work too. Uh, just push the, one, push the one side in, tip it up, and the other side you just pop out, and that's all there is to getting these off. Yeah, Kimmy, you look like one of the girls in The Price Was Right. Uh, so guys, here is the rear window valance. How you get this off is, as you can see, I got these taped up because of the rain, but here's all the points. And we'll show you on the valance itself. So down here, you have these two points that pop in, and then you have five bolts. One, two, three, four, five, and obviously two more points on the other side. And you pull it straight up, and that's how you get this thing off. Yeah, you look like a fucking goofball. So hey, Kimmy, what do you think about people saying you swear too much and you're flipping the bird too much in the videos? I don't give a fuck, bunch of pansy little fucking bitches always fucking complaining about swearing. She's a lady. All right, guys, so what we're doing before we go to Prime, we I am spot-putting every little imperfection. Kimmy is actually circling everything we need to... Uh, anything that we don't think the polyester primer will cover, she's circling. And, uh, yeah, okay. Right, she's doing a great job. Are you going to fucking start working sometime today? Hey, Kimmy, check this out. He has the fucking rainbow, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I know, but it's cool, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, to remove these door handles, these are kind of a pain in the ass. But anyways, there's two bolts right here by the lock cylinder, and there's one on the other side. Now, to access these two by the lock cylinder, you want to remove this rubber grommet by the door here, and with a swiveling extension and a 10 millimeter, you can get both of these bolts off. And obviously a door panel has to come off to get the third one. And if you go around to the front, uh, let me remove that, uh, there's a rod in there that connects to this yellow plastic clip here. Uh, you can use a big screwdriver to pop that out. And once the door handle is loose, it kind of slips up and pops out that way. You can see the little ridge on the bottom. So lift it up, pull it out, and that's about it. And there is a seal around these handles, which I like to spray with a SEM black trim paint. Uh, it gives a nice accent to the new paint job when those look nice and fresh. All right, guys, uh, we got Kimmy over here on her knees again. Another big surprise. <laughs> Don't you have a fucking hair appointment or something to fucking be at, you little bitch? Okay guys, in order to remove this side vent, you first have to remove this molding. And the first thing you're going to have to do is remove the interior panel to get to this bolt. You got two points here and a bolt here, which bolts to the back of the quarter panel there. Okay guys, I have to get the molding off to get the vent itself off. Flip it over, you can see a point right here that goes into this hole, it snaps into this hole right here. And then you got one more bolt and you can reach around and get that from inside the wheel well right there. And that's about it. 
Okay guys, in order to remove the quarter glass, you first need to remove the interior panel so you can access these three bolts. And on the exterior, there are three screws here. And guys, when pulling these off, good luck getting them off without breaking them. I break most of the ones I take off, but I do have a cool fix coming up in later videos to repair these. And when you're taking this quarter glass off, make sure it's warm out. The adhesive, you can pry it off much easier when it's warm. Really? We have to show them how to remove the mirror by removing this little cover and three screws? Well, there's a plug you have to take the door panel off for. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to take the door panel off too. Kimmy, you want a piece of this pizza, don't you? <laughs> oh, you bitch! Son of a bitch, Kimmy! Fuck! Oh, I can save this. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so here's another question I've been asked a few times. Uh, hey Mike, have you ever thought about selling a few of your MR2s and buying something like an NSX? And hell yeah, I have. I love the NSX, man. Those are awesome cars. Aluminum body, titanium connecting rods, uh, longer wheelbase, and you know, a more exotic factor for sure than the MR2. But after I drove one, and I've driven three of them, you know, I'm used to driving a modified MR2, so I was a little underwhelmed by the performance. And for the prices they're asking, I'm not knocking the car, and I'm not trying to compare modified to a stock NSX, but for the prices they're asking right now, I just can't see it. Maybe if the prices come down a little bit, uh, I'd be all over it. But as for now, I'm going to stick with the MR2. What is this? What is what? This. Well, it says Kim is a poop. I know what it says, you fucking jackass. When did you write it? I didn't write it. When the fuck would I have written it? Oh my god, so fucking original. Okay guys, that's about a wrap for part one of how to paint your car at home. And I promise you episode two is coming soon because it is September 1st here in Michigan. Yeah, it's September 1st on a lot of places. Fucking dork. And I need to get this car done before it gets cold. So episode two coming very soon. We'll prime the car, guide coat it. I'll show you what sandpaper I use and I'll get into every little detail of how I do things when it comes to painting a car outside. So take it easy guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, it's a minor one.